Getting ready for week number two, chatting here with Chad Winters, the head coach for the Keyhawks. They fell in week number one to a very good uh, West Central team. Uh, Chad, uh, what were the number one takeaways that you took away from last Friday night? Uh, just just the mistakes that need to get cleaned up. A uh, couple turnovers that really cost us in the game. A uh, couple pen- penalties that derailed two more offensive drives. Uh, another penalty that aided, continued one of their drives, helped them out. Um, lower pad levels, staying on blocks longer, typical first game stuff that um, needs to improve as we move into the Central City Week, and I, I expect it will. We'll, we'll get better at that as, as our young guys get more experience. And when you talk about mistakes, uh, how many of those were just the physical mistakes that uh, you're going out trying to make a play and just something doesn't uh, work right? How many of those are the mental mistakes that uh, you really uh, need to clean up quicker? Uh, the, the mental mistakes, I mean, those just need to get cleaned up, period. I mean, they we talk about pre-snap penalties. We talk about not turning the ball over, um, positive yardage on first down, not finding ourselves in second and long situations. Um, we got to get those cleaned up as the season continues, and they get and they get used to the speed of the game. The game was moving fast for some of them on, on Friday night, and and you expect that as a first first time varsity player. Um, I think that'll continue to calm down for them, um, and we'll see improvement as the season goes on in that regard. New uh, quarterback last Friday night uh, with Dalton Mutterman. Uh, first uh, new quarterback you've had in a while. Uh, assess Dalton's play. Uh, Dalton, Dalton did some really good things. Um, navigated the pocket pretty well. You, you can tell that he's kind of locked on to to one or two guys right now, and and as he's navigating the pocket, his, his eyes aren't down on his targets. He's kind of feeling where those defensive linemen are coming from. With with the experience, um, the game experience that he's getting, uh, as that starts to slow down, he's going to see the field better. Um, obviously, had had guys wide open, and 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 we missed him at times. Um, I told him, I said, it's not very different than when, when Damon was there uh, a few years ago and, and very similar to locking on guys, throwing throwing the ball a little bit further than he needed to um, at times, and, and that stuff will get cleaned up as he gets more experience too. But he did some solid things for us, throws a good ball, um, just missed a couple other big plays actually. So, And one of your skill kids uh, you had coming back, uh, Carter Getzinger, uh, seemingly had a pretty good night to uh, Kind of doing what uh, a senior should do in that position, fair to say. Yes, most most definitely. Car- Carter had a real solid night. Um, battled some cramps in the second half, kind of fought through those, but was still able to find the end zone three times, a couple through the pass game, one one through the run game. Um, just we need to get more consistent on staying on blocks so that those three- and four-yard runs turn into more eight to 12 to 15 yard runs. And I think that'll come as, as, as we go, continue to work on pad level and, and moving our feet better. How would you assess your defense in week number one? Um, need to get off blocks better. Uh, the cushion kid runs extremely hard. He's, he's been playing for them since he's a freshman, ran up for over a thousand yards last year. I mean, we, we knew what like, you could see first guy that got to him, never brought him down clean. Um, always falling forward one of those backs that kind of kind of gets stronger as the game goes on as he gets more carries and he had some some big runs for us in the in the second half when we just got a a shoulder or an arm on him instead of wrapping with both arms and not getting a second guy there and he really made us pay but he's, he's a quality ball player he's got a heck of a guy leading the way for him and the whole kid too and Central City uh, comes to town. Uh, they get to make that long trip instead of uh, you uh, this year. They had a nice win over Lone Tree in week number one. Uh, what do you see uh, from them on film? Uh, they, they've got some real good speed at, at their skill position players. They, they've got a bunch of juniors that are playing that have played since they're uh, freshmen. they got a real good sophomore class to mix in with that, along with uh, two or three um, pretty solid seniors. Uh, we knew they had good good guys coming, good good classes back to back, um, and, and it looks like they're starting to take that step, which you'd expect them to take. Um, Coach Myers does a good job with them, um, but you can see that they got some athletes that if they get them the ball in space, they can they can pose a lot of problems for you. So we've got to be really disciplined and, and gap sound this week. All right, to Coach, keep your kids healthy. Hopefully, you can get victory number one this week. We wish you best of luck. All right, thanks, Darren.
Chad Winters from Kihai with a week two preview.